Mark Gonzalez. I was born in El Paso and then uh, raised in San Antonio and then came back here. Initially I had just done like we have a summer camp program here and I did it just to be in theater and keep myself busy or whatever and I fell in love with this program so I came here. Um, the reason UTEP trumped all the other schools was that I, I guess that I visited is just like here we're a really small program but I mean as you can see we do pretty massive work for a group of let's see how many production majors well now there's a lot of us but by a lot of us I mean 20 we are a very um, dysfunctional yet loving family What we chose to major in is probably one of the more ruthless things that you can get into. Because I mean, like, Adam and I are completely on par with each other, and we're best friends and we're roommates, and that's all great. But there's going to come a point where him and I are competing for the same jobs. Um, so there's there's a mutual understanding there. But I mean, the reason I say we're we're kind of dysfunctional, we're kind of ruthless about it, is just you know it's we help each other out, um, but at the same time we're trying to learn and get better. We're majoring in the arts. It's the most, you know, it's you know, it's the things that your parents warn you away from or whatever, but uh, I sit here for 18 hours, somewhere in these four seats, and you know, get yelled at by six different people because things don't look right, and then I wake up the next morning and go, okay, I gotta do it again for 18 hours. And I do it with a smile on my face, yeah. that's. I think that's when you have that thought and you're like, wow, I don't think I should do this. But then you do that the next day, you're like, no, I think I can hack. So. My dad and my mom both were just happy that I found something that I love to do. And like, even since I was little, my mom was like, dude, you can go work at McDonald's or be a custodian. I mean, as long as you're happy, it doesn't really matter. So I've had family-wise, which is really rare in what we do, I've had complete support. But I have one uncle who already does what I do professionally. I've got an aunt who's a, uh, who was a choreographer for Carnival Cruise Lines. I was a choreographer for Disney for a couple of years. So I mean, fine arts has kind of just happened in my family. And so I've lucked out in having a really supportive background on everything I've done, which was awesome. I find that as a, like we're storytellers, no matter what you do, and storytellers are, you know, stories are fun no matter what age you are. And yeah, I mean, it's it's a little pricier sometimes depending on which house you go to, but I mean, it's cool to go watch Pacific Rim, don't get me wrong, and watch things like explode and, you know, robots punch through buildings. But there's also something really cool about looking at this and watching human beings that if you were to have something, and if anyone would do this, I would hit them, but you know, if you chuck something on stage, you would make contact with this world. Um, and I think the fact that we're able to build this world in real life, and for two hours, three hours, have people check out, and forget that they have bills due tomorrow, forget that, you know, their, you know, their cell phones, whatever, you know, stuff like that. Theater is my driving force. It's what I do. It's what I am. Thank you.